Hi, this is John from PSD Dude, and in this video tutorial I would like to show you how to use my RoboStamp Generator Photoshop Action. The action can be downloaded from Graphic River and you can find the download link in the description of this video. The download package comes with a PDF inside that describes how to install all the components required to run this action. If you follow the steps there and everything installs correctly, then when you go to Photoshop, you will get a new action pack under the actions panel. To activate the actions panel, you have to go to window and actions. In the rubber stamp generator action set, you will find four separate actions. We'll take a look at uh, one of the actions, rubber stamp one. To run the action, you have to select it and click play. The action will perform several steps and uh, then it will ask you to place your cropped image, or text or logo shape inside a small circle and then press play to, uh, the play button again. Let's do that. For this uh, rubber stamp I chose a portrait to put inside the rubber stamp. So the portrait comes from Pixabay. I just copy the image and paste it in my document. Now what I have to do is to just crop the image and fit it inside the inner circle of the rubber stamp. To do this I'll use the select tool and then I'll press Ctrl J to create a copy of the selection. I'll delete the old layer and then I have to make sure that the, the image layer is selected. And then I will click play. And there it is. The result of the action is a rubber stamp that you can now start to customize. To customize further, we can do the following. First of all, we can change the color. To do this, I will double click on the hue saturation layer. And I can change the hue, so the color. Also the saturation and the lightness. Another customization that I can make is to change this text around the rubber stamp. To do this, I have to step into the smart object that gets created with this action by double clicking on it. And then going to the text layer, double clicking on that, I can put in my own message. I can close the smart object and choose save. And this is the final result. As you can see, this action is extremely easy to use. You can follow the same steps for other images, text, or custom shape. The action pack comes with uh, several other actions, but I will let you discover what these do. Basically, they're variations on the same thing. You can see several examples of what can be achieved using this action on the item page on Graphic River. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to drop us a comment in the comments area below. Also for free Photoshop resources and free tutorials please visit www.psddude.com.